Hi everyone, uh, thanks for following us and what we're going to do this week, we're going to go over two short videos for mobility. One is going to be some basic foam rolling protocol. Um, if you're a patient in our office, maybe you've seen some of these exercises before. And then the second video is going to be done by our new doctor, Dr. Hayden Stanley, and he's going to review some good stretches that are going to complement the, the foam rolling protocol that we're going to go over right now. So with everything that's going on, this is a really great opportunity for you at home to start working on some weak links and also just keep your body feeling the best it can. That's not only going to help you just feel better and have more energy and a more positive outlook throughout all of this, but also when we get back into the physical activities that we do love, we're going to feel better and we're not going to feel like we're starting from square one. So the first mobility drill that I'm going to show is going to be simply with a foam roller and I'm going to show you how to foam roll your adductor muscles. This is your groin muscle that kind of is going to go basically here from my inner thigh, from my knee, all the way up into my pelvis. So for the adductor, what I like to do is get on all fours, kind of like I'm getting into a plank position. I'm gonna have my knee on, the, the inside of my knee is gonna be sitting on the foam roller, and I'm gonna slowly scroll in. Now, not to be redundant, but each time I do this, I wanna scan the muscle first, where I'm gonna move at about one inch per second, all the way up into my groin, and then I'm gonna come back down. As I'm coming back down, I wanna stop on the point that was the most tender, and I wanna hang out on that point for about 60 seconds, okay? So this is our adductor. Obviously, you wanna make sure that you're doing these on both sides. The next movement and the next muscle group that I would like you to foam roll is gonna be your piriformis and your glutes. So these are the muscles that we sit on. For, so for those of you who are maybe sitting a little bit more on your laptop doing work, or if you're standing, kind of moving around, sometimes it helps just to get some good blood flow back in your glutes as well. So for this, I'm gonna start glute on the roller here. I'm gonna bring the same glute that I'm rolling, I'm gonna bring that ankle up and over and rest it on top of the opposing knee. I'm gonna hold on to my ankle just for general stability, and then use my hand here to post up. Now I'm able to put a lot of good pressure on the roller here, and same thing, I'm gonna slowly roll all the way across my glute, all the way across my piriformis. I'm gonna find the most tender point, and I'm gonna hang it on, on that for 60 seconds. Last but not least is gonna be our thoracic spine. So the part of our mid-back, the middle of our spine, that this tends to get really tight, especially if you're sitting at home on your laptop a lot, driving, looking at your phone, texting. I know that throughout all this, I've been on my computer, on my phone a little bit more than I normally am, and I'm even getting some rounding in my mid-back. So this has been my go-to foam rolling for that. What we're gonna do here, foam roller right on the floor. I'm gonna put the roller right at the lower part of my rib cage, cross my arms in front. I'm gonna try to sit with a nice neutral spine. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna slowly slide my hips down towards my ankles. I'm gonna take a deep breath in. As I exhale, I'm gonna exhale, open up, 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 and drop my head back into this position. And then I'm gonna slowly curl back in here. Now for this one, most repetitions, you are gonna to need to kind of reposition yourself. But once again, I'm not driving this into my low back. I'm starting at that lower rib cage and going up to the top of my shoulder blades. Deep breath in, exhale and open up, come back, okay? So those are my three foam rolling protocol that we're gonna review. Um, I hope that these help keep you feeling your best while you're stuck at home. And remember, use this as an opportunity to really get your body tuned up, feeling the best it can. Stay tuned and Dr. Hayden's gonna show us some stretches that are gonna help complement these foam rolling protocol.